to another teardown video. Here we have a tire pressure gauge. This is reporting in kilopascals. So let's get into it. smaller. I have to remember that, I'll put it back together again. Not a lot to it. Well I should really have done more speaking here while I'm undoing these screws but uh, it was a very hot day. It was after today it was probably the second hottest day in British history it was a scorcher a pretty crude pressure sensor which is why I'm talking quite quietly as there were people who couldn't sleep during the night who were trying to get, catch some sleep and uh, yeah it's unbearably hot for us <laughs> in the UK who aren't used to having sort of 38 degree C days. Oop, this place fallen off. So uh, not not a lot of talking going on, so uh hope you bear with me. Let's get the battery out. A switch. Like your passer resistor. So let's bring this in and have a quick look. Oh, no expense spared. So close, the focus is changing constantly. See where they've wire bonded onto the PCB board. Can we zoom in on that? And there you can see where they've wire bonded onto the substrate. It's a, it looks like oops, this is dropping the dropping the uh, tweezers. Well, this was a rather silly idea. I blame the heater. <laughs> you know, trying to knock a piece of dirt off that's sitting next to the wire bonds, blowing it off like I just did was a much better idea. So uh, I'll be surprised if I haven't blown or knocked some of the wire bonds off. But uh, I'm not going to use it again. I'm not even going to bother testing it again. I might just throw it in the bin. So uh, nothing lost. I say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. There was some detritus in there. But, uh, it looks like there's only four connections and a little gasket around the outside. But I think I'll screw that back in to protect it. There. Oh, I really should add, you know, all the trouble I went to of uh, screwing the little blighter back in. 
and uh, I'll use the excuse it was hot ah <laughs> uh, well and there we go look, fumbling for it I know the height of British engineering expertise you know finding it hard to put a screw in a hole oh, actually finding it hard to hold on to a screw before you put it in the hole so uh, not exactly jobs are good but uh, yeah, we got there in the end and uh, we managed to screw it back in place for its own safety Screw that down. What does it say on the back of that PCB? U minus, U zero plus, U plus, U zero minus. It must be some form of strain gauge. Probably a form of a strain gauge or Wheatstone Bridge type strain gauge and uh, nothing uh, that's too spectacular. And then on here, what have we got? Some badly soldered resistors and capacitors. It looks almost handmade. That doesn't look like it went through a flow solder machine. Where it's all blobbed on. And then on the other side, 100 nanofarad capacitor, 1052. Strange value. Is that 100? 105 with two zeros. I never remember. <laughs> That's a 110.5k. Yeah, I suppose 105 and then two noughts. Strange value. Obviously 1% because it had a brown bio at the end of it. So, a little uh, plastic button. And then on here, you should just make out on there. Turn the focus the right way. Coming in. The little rubber and carbon impregnated zipper stripes. And that obviously mates up with all the connections along the PCB on that edge. And the ubiquitous black blob, where underneath that there'll be a little tiny chip glued to the board, and then it'll be wire bonded with a wire bonding machine from the chip to the board and then a dollop of epoxy on top which is quite a common way of making things cheap because you don't have to pay anything for the um, housing of the PCB spot the mistake should have said chip that is that way around do you think a more professional YouTuber would actually have stopped the microscope camera before carrying on? Put some screws back in. So you're not seeing my fingers and all the other blurry stuff that's in the way. As I was hoping that there'd be something more to see. Well, I'm not a professional YouTuber. Nowhere like it. Just having fun. But obviously not. It's made to a price and the price is very low. But this one was very intermittent. It didn't give a very good reading. Which is why 
I've taken it apart because it just sat there not doing a lot. So, did you notice a little hole by the orange wires? I wonder what should have gone in there. Stick the battery back in and see if it's still. Problem is, it's now reading. And the problem is, oh, it does say PSI this time. It was in kilopascals last time. What you can't see, because of the microscope view, and what I forgot, was sitting under that little blob in the microscope view, is a little shiny, yeah. shiny silver screw. Got which one was shorter, so, oh well. It's in the middle of a English heat wave at the moment, and my car said 47 degrees on the dashboard earlier. Hottest I've ever seen the car read before driving away. And as I drove away, it dropped to a more insane value of <laughs> 38 degrees, which is something we are not used to. In the UK. Oh, now it says bar. <laughs> Killer. I was I bring that in there? The problem with this is that when when it's in the display, if I zoom in on that, can you make out just along that edge? It says. Is that killer Pascals? Kilograms per cubic meter. Killer Pascals. PSI. It was very hard to actually read. What it was, it's very tiny. But why it's reading a uh, hundred and sixty two? I don't know. Try blowing into it. <gasps> Didn't change. So maybe the uh, the sensor is now connected. Nope, stayed at zero. Sorry, there wasn't much more to show. As there's uh, nothing written on it. It's totally unbranded. I think I bought it from Halfords. And uh, you can see the slit where the air shoots inside it. And the little rubber ring around it. But what will happen was this plastic here was too wide. And... It wouldn't release the valve, the Schneider valve on the car properly, and so it was pretty crap. And uh, so I just found it by the front door. So I thought I'd do a quick tear down. And I hope you enjoy it. You know. That's the channel name. T or T, however you want to pronounce it. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell, I'll catch you on the next one, hopefully when it's a lot cooler.